Okay, I'm Rosie Paidotti. I'm director of the Center for the Humanities at Utrecht University, uh, previously director of the Gender Program. And my concern is on the social political implications of complexity theory, which um, actually entails the difficulties of translating into the language of the humanities, of philosophy, of critical thought, the very elaborate, complex, at times sophisticated um, scientific theories that usually go into the mainstream of complexity theory. In my presentation, I have uh, tried to sketch out the problems involved in this exercise of translation, uh, whether the humanities can be complex in the sense of complexity theory, or rather whether the specific complexities of the humanities is, is compatible with what we understand as complexity theory in the more interdisciplinary and rather science-dominated area, which has become known as complexity theory. It may be that there are the problems of profound untranslatability within the humanities. Now, the concept of humanities itself is highly problematic. It's also new and recent. So I've tried to uh, analyze it internally with a very critical edge against the classical humanities, which have retrenched themselves behind very antiquated understanding of what constitutes the human. So the paper is really about what is human about the humanities and what concept of the human is implicit in this humanity. And uh, I have sketched briefly a, a posthumanist critique of, the, of this um, kind of human ideal within the humanities. So there is a posthumanist angle and there is a post-anthropocentric angle. So the fact that the humanities seem to be humanistic at heart and consequently reject all the radical epistemologies that I believe in, feminism, anti-racism, post-colonialism, environmentalism. Uh, they have rejected everything radical and exciting for the last 30 years and have become hyper-classical, at least in the north of Europe where I work. So there is this, this humanistic kind of addiction, as I call it, and the anthropocentrism that is so m not only human-centered, male-centered and human-centered, that what can they do when actually confronted by complex uh, self-organizing systems? And have sketched out several attempts that I see ongoing by the humanities to try to do this, but they are hardly mainstream. And I must say, for once in my life, I'm rather pessimistic mm -hmm. about the chances of the field to actually raise to the challenge of complexity theory.